Good morning, you beautiful people. It's 39 degrees out this morning. That sun is out, and it feels so nice. And the pigs are out this morning too, first thing. Good morning, guys and girl. What are you doing, pork and chops? I'm surprised you're up this early this morning. There goes our water. Good morning. I need to move the pigs and get them in their new pasture pig mobile, but we're still waiting on the weather. I need the ground to dry up a little bit more, and I'm waiting for them to finish up doing the site work for where the new barn is going. If you guys haven't seen any of those videos, I'll put a link right here to all the construction that's been going on. We're gonna be building a 30 by 32 post and beam barn right behind the roller. But I need to get this temporarily fenced in. I'll bring the pasture pig mobile down here and we'll get the pigs used to the trailer of the pasture pig mobile. We'll feed them in there. They'll stay in there for probably like a week or so in this area. And then we can bring them doo -doo -doo, over here. We'll fence in some areas. We'll get them working the new pasture land. We'll have them tilling it. Then we can go behind them, pull up the rocks, rake it out and seed it. <laughs> Good morning, goats. Hope, how you doing this morning? We need to give you your copper bolus today, Hope. Good morning, Willow. How are you and the babies doing? You doing good? I bet you are. Good morning, babies. You're getting pretty big there, little man. I see you shaking your tail. You all excited this morning? Give Willow some grain. There you go. And I also like to give her some milk made herbs to help her milk production stay up. There you go, Willow. You little ones ready to go outside? I'll go open the back door for you. It don't look like you're gonna get up. Good morning, crazy white chicken. I was wondering where you were. You're not gonna go have breakfast with the pigs this morning? CWC. I'm gonna miss having the pasture pig mobile for hay storage. It works perfect. I will say, when you're building a homestead from scratch, you gotta be creative in your uses and use everything as many ways as you can. <laughs> the outdoor kitchen right now is our hay storage. The pasture pig mobile, we like to put a bale or two in it because it's halfway to the goat barn because we're using the milking room right now for Willow and the baby goats, that's usually where we store our hay. So we're kind of like juggling everything around till we get the new barn up. You girls want some more hay? There you go. Hope. Is that good? Yes, good morning. They really seem to enjoy me putting the hay on the spool. Good morning guys, you gonna come out? What are you doing Willow? Where are your babies? Where are, where are your babies? Your babies still sleeping? Are they coming out? Oh, I see, I see them. Good morning. I think we got a name for this one. I'll have to wait till Gina and Olivia are out early, later. Right, little P?
Right, little P? Little man. You're yawning? All right, while well, Little P's not jumping around and being cute, we'll sneak out now. we we'll stay here all morning. I don't think the chickens and the dogs would appreciate it. Oh, we got another escapee chicken, huh? I bet you Tanner will find you. I see we had a few chickens that must have been hiding under New York City last night when I locked up the coop. There's about four or five of them out still. Good morning. You're supposed to sleep inside the chicken coop. Hey, crazy white chicken. Want to put some grain on the areas where the grass is the highest still. I think it's going to be time to move New York City tomorrow. They did an awesome job eating this area down. If you want breakfast, you got to come back over here. Tanner's right over there. There comes Tanner. Good job, buddy, good job. That was the reason we wanted to get a herd in dogs, so that way it could help us herd chickens when they got loose. And he's doing a great job already. Uh, to the house. Update on the chickens that we hatched out. They're doing really good. We can probably get them outside on pasture. Any day now, they're almost completely feathered out. We have four black copper morans and one olive egg layer. Ah, looks like the meat birds knocked over the waterer. I was just saying the other day how you never come out of the coop. And now here you are this morning, all rushing out. I don't want to go back into the greenhouse. If I'm going to have to pick them up and put them back in the greenhouse, I might as well pick them up and put them into our chicken boxes and get them out on pasture.
You guys ready to be on grass? Look at that nice, luscious green grass waiting for you. We're using one of our $30 chicken tractors to put the meat birds in. We built this for under 30 bucks. They're like, hey, what is all this stuff? Oh, I can't wait to see all the grass and bugs that you guys get to eat. Moose doesn't know what to think. One more. She's like, you can't see me. I'm hiding. No, you're not. And then this water is designed to go right here. It's a perfect height for them. Look at that. I'll put a link to a playlist right here that shows us building our $30 chicken tractors, the water and the feeder that we're going to get. And then in the description down below, there's a link to our website where we have the cut list and all the directions to make everything. And then you have the simple five gallon bucket feeder. Had to run out and get some hay for the goats. I wanna make sure we can still get second cut hay for them because pretty soon we'll be all out of second cut hay in the area. These are some really nice big bales. Probably should have got a few more of them. How's the garlic looking? How are the strawberries doing? I think they'll make it. They'll make it. We gotta add compost to it. We do. That compost sure is loaded with worms. As I was scooping it up in the bucket of the Kubota, you could see worms hanging out and they'd suck themselves right back into the compost. This is two year old compost that our pigs composted for us over one winter. Oh, that stuff, look at the worm right there. Look at that.
if you ready for some fun we're gonna try peanut butter because you don't like bananas oh you guys stay in watch out so I'm gonna get the other girls over here in the feeder and then we'll get Hope in the milk and stand. Okay. You know, you don't climb up, you stay down. You need to stay down. Yes, you do. You need to stay down. You need to stay down. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, yes, yes. You are just like you're all full of hay. Go see how. Hi, Hope. You need to stay down too. You need to stay down too. Yes, you do. When you get too big, it hurts. We've got peanut butter in our balling gun. We're going to stick our copper bolus in there. Now we're going to get Hope's head up. You like the brush and Hope, but you didn't like the copper bolus so much. But we got you done. You're good for six months now. Thank goodness. It's not fun, is it? See my mini brush when you order something online, you don't know what, how big it is. You thought it was bigger? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's perfect hope size. It's for little, little ones, yeah, not for the big one. Ah. How come nobody ever comes to me? Nobody ever gives me tools. No. Yeah, she's got a lot of white in her. She does. She's almost like gray and white, not black. You like your brush in there, Blossom? There you go. Good job. Now you get up here, Buttercup. Your turn, Buttercup. Go ahead. Your coat looks pretty, Buttercup. Let me see, you looking good? You looking good? Oh, oh, come here. Oh, we gotta tell them the name of the other girl goat. Is Gina your favorite little pea? Why does she only come today? To you the most. We have a little girl that watches our channel named Bonnie and she suggested a few names and we're gonna pick Magnolia and call her Maggie for short. Which Maggie, I read, means pearl. She's got a little pearl on her head. She does got a little so pearl on her head. Those suggestions. I'm gonna call you Maggie, Magnolia. And, and little, you? little P is short for puzzle pieces. <laughs> <laughs> mm, she's uh, like, I don't like that Maggie's up there. Nope. So, little P just comes right to you and gets on you. The other ones are, will come if you, it's a little bit more, you have to entice them more, huh? huh? You just love to be held. What's gonna happen when you get bigger? She's gonna jump on your lap and it's gonna hurt. Yeah. Comes hey, little man. Hey little man, you wanna come on my lap too? It's not big enough cause you're a big boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Can you guys stay little forever? Can <laughs> <laughs> you stay little forever? Oh, excuse me, that does not feel good, mister. Little pee. <laughs> My path is not big enough for two. There is. She's so funny. Alright. Well, thank you for making me happy. We'll be back later. Thank you for making me happy. Oh, the grass is growing up nicely out here, too. I put a bunch of fresh grass seeds down and they're starting to sprout. And this one area where the chickens were all winter. Bye. I was like, what is oh, that wow. noise? It's the meat birds drinking yeah. the water out of the 
yeah. water bucket. That breeze feels nice. Tanner, you gonna get the crazy white chicken? Oh, you want the meat birds? But that's new. Yep. Come on. Oh, they picked back up egg production. Why did they stop? I think they slowed down because of all the construction going on. I don't think they liked all the noise. Yeah, it's odd shaped. This one's odd shaped, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. What are you doing? That one's pretty. Mm -hmm. Come on guys, go to the house. And then we went to a Memorial Day cookout and forgot to end the video. It's a day late, but I wanted to thank all of the veterans who served our country for us and make this a great free nation that it is. Hope you all had a great Memorial Day. We had some beautiful weather here. Little P just cracks me up. She is so funny. She doesn't want anybody else sitting on Gina's lap. When any of the other goats try to do it, she jumps up there and either sits with them or tries to get them off of Gina's lap. Uh, everybody's always commenting and say that, saying that Little P is Gina's favorite. It's the other way around. Gina is Little P's favorite. So uh, it's always neat being able to see the different personalities coming out of all the animals. Can't wait to see what Little P and Magnolia and Little Man grow up to be like. Their personalities keep getting stronger and stronger. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. Hope you guys are having a wonderful spring. The weather here seems to be finally breaking, and we'll see you right back here in the next video where we're going to be working more on the barn project at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.